In this video, I'm just going to quickly go over dictionaries again and have a little practice. It's not going to be a very long video though. Right, so first off, how to create um, empty dictionaries. I'm also going to show you how to create um, non-empty dictionaries. So we use the keyword dictionary. Then we use the greater than and lesser than sign or the lesser than greater than sign here. And we put in, first of all, a data type that we want our key to be. So I'll go for integer, int, and then string as the value, right? Then these curly brackets. I'll print that out and you'll see that that is indeed an empty dictionary. And then the other way to create an empty dictionary is like this. So we use square brackets here. We assign, first of all, our key um, data type or the data type we want our keys to be. We then use the colon here, not a comma, a colon. And then we decide what we want our value to be, what data type we want our values to be. Okay, and I'll print that out and you'll see that we've got dict2, right? Now then, you can actually make uh, dictionaries that aren't empty. So we'll say dict3 is equal to, and all you got to do is get some brackets and then, you know, whatever your data types you want. I've, I've decided I want strings as my values and I want integers as my keys okay so here we are simple enough right i'll print that out dict free this will be treated the same for uh, as any other dictionary by the way and what would actually happen here is if we try to add you know the wrong data type for a key and a value it won't work so you know this is treated the same as these it's just it's just not empty right now how do we add to a dictionary well all we've got to do is we specify which dictionary we want to add i.e the variable we put you know these little square brackets here and then we add a key to the square bracket so i'm going to say 55 and then we use an equal sign here and what I'm going to add, I'm actually adding to dict3 here, is, I don't know, the value, hello, right? Easy enough. Print that out as well, dict3, so you can see all that. And just run it. Easy enough. We've got hello there associated with our new key, right? Simple enough. So, dict square brackets, the key that you want, and hello, right? I can also change that just by um, using the exact same key and the exact same dictionary. And all I've got to do to change that is reassign the value to the same key. So I'll say world. Right? And instead of getting hello and world or hello attached to the key 55, the value, oop, I need to print that here. The value that should be attached to the key 55 should be world with an exclamation mark. So here we are, world with an exclamation mark in the second attempt. Okay, easy enough, easy enough, no problems. And we can also print out items in the same manner by, you know, just simply finding the key. So, oops, the key for this one we'll say is 22, and that should print out j i n for us as well there let's have a quick look at that yes don't know why it says optional no idea but whatever doesn't really matter now let's say we want to remove a value so i want to remove this 55 value well i just you know use dict free once again i get the key of the key value pair i want to delete and i change the value to nil now if i print dict free you'll actually see that there is no key value pair where the key value pair of 55 and world exclamation mark were. So I'll print it out here. And there is no key of value 55, nor is there a value associated with it all, with a new key. So that key value pair has been deleted by reassigning the value of the key to nil. Okay, easy enough. Now, I'm just going to show you how to do a for loop very easily. You, instead of having just one 
variable name to hold just one value or like the value of the count, for example, if you would, you actually use the a name for the key. So we'll call it key name and value name, and you just stick them inside of some curly brackets. Use the keyword in, and then you use the dictionary name. So we'll say dict free here. You put these. Um, I'm not sure of these curly brackets. I can't remember what they're called. These are curly brackets, these are squiggly brackets, something like that. I don't know, it doesn't matter. You can see what they are. And we can print out the key name. And we can also print out the value name. This won't come out great, but it's not really about how well it comes out. It's just about showing that it can be done, right? So we've got 22 gin 91 ll 31 err So you can see it's gone through the entire dictionary and printed all this out right so creation of an empty dictionary um, a more succinct creation of an empty dictionary creation of a non-empty dictionary here right assigning a value to a key that doesn't exist reassigning a value to a key that exists this here is just printing out the value associated with a key by using the key in square brackets. This is how you delete a key value pair. And this is how you do a for loop over a dictionary. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.